Keep it in tarot, eight, eight, eight. This message is for Leo. Now you can have Leo anywhere in your chart, sun, moon, rising, Venus, anywhere in your chart. And Leo, this message may resonate with you, or maybe just a piece. Take what does, baby, and send the rest to the universe. Let it be for someone else. All right, Leo, as I meditated on your energy with these cards, I was trying to clear them out. It's like I kept hearing undefeated. Now I'm hearing it's your time to shine. And it's almost like your spiritual gifts are unfolding. Hmm. As you forgive, I'm hearing, as you forgive and let go of the past. Hijo de su. And a lot of you guys, you guys are going to realize something you already know. And if it's taking you this, the Ten of Pen the ten of Pentacles. It's taking you the Ten of Swords. For some of you guys, the Ten of Pentacles. It's like once you have everything, you're starting to see, you know, who your, who your true friends are, who your true family is. But for a lot of guys, before you hit that, or for some after you hit that, it's almost like you hit this Ten of Swords. And the whole time your ancestors were right there warning you. They're like, I told you this was going to happen. And a lot of you guys couldn't believe. It's like, shit, you guys went and died where somebody, you know, and this is not physically, it's, it's spiritually. You had to go and, and put yourself somewhere else where nobody saw you. Maybe you felt it was the end of everything. But your ancestors were right there watching you, protecting you. And after all this darkness, because the Ten of Swords, man, there's something new coming. This, this is ending. And the sun's coming out and it's bright and it's like, I'm hearing, it's your time to shine. So for a lot of you guys, this is what the energy you might have went through already. And you're realizing that no one can stop you. Undefeatable. Put it in the comments, baby. I'm undefeatable. And it's like you're recognizing that. You're embracing that. And it's almost like you're going to, there's something that I keep hearing. It's like the Queen of Swords right here. You have the nine of swords. It's almost like I'm hearing you're going to realize something. And it's something you already knew. And even though you had this ten of swords right here, you already knew. And it's almost like God is about to expose these particular people of something you already knew, but you just, you weren't paying attention. It's like you turning a blind eye to it. And it's, I'm hearing... <laughs> That they were always very jealous of you. Always. And I'm hearing of your light. On how you could walk into any room. No matter where they might have sent you. It's like you always brightened up the room. And look at that heart. You could be looking back and they could have sent you off in a different direction. See right here, it's almost like they threw you on the log and they're like, shit, pa que, pa que se vaya Leo. So Leo could take off and never come back. Let's send them somewhere else. But what they weren't counting on is that you always shine somewhere. No matter where you go, you have this light, this inner light. And look at this bird. It's like your guardian angel that's always there. And you might have been looking back like, why did these people that I love hurt me? Why did they betray me? But you're learning to let go. No matter what these emotions could be, how you feel, you're, you're, you're letting go and you're allowing God, the universe to guide you. And, and see, here's another angel that's guarding you from moving backwards. So Leo, sun, moon, rising, anywhere in your chart, hit the like button, share, subscribe, baby. I'm hearing you too blessed to be stressed. And for a lot of you guys, it's like you... You shine humbly. You have this confidence. And this energy of freedom, fearlessness. But you're very humble is what I'm hearing. And it's like you attract and you don't chase. There's something different about you because a lot of Leos are ambitious. They're going to go after what they want. And there's something different about you, Leo. Sun, moon, rise, and Venus. Anywhere in your chart, there is something different. It's almost like people are seeing how you attract. And for a lot of you guys, you might even be tripped out because 
the universe, God has put you in a different energy. It's like, like no, no, no. You're going to go where we send you. You see right here, the Six of Swords. They're sending you somewhere else and they're enlightening you. There's something different that you got to do. And for some of you guys, you're leaving behind something you used to do that used to bring you wealth. For a lot of you guys, this could have been something that brought your family wealth. But most, from what I'm hearing, it's like they took advantage of your energy, your power. They took advantage of that energy, the blessing energy. It's almost like they, could, they thought they could do it themselves and... And for a lot of you guys, that's the energy they wanted to take from you. Is that abundant energy. And see, a lot of them, they were energy vampires. They wanted that. And they thought they could attach to you. But I'm hearing your ancestors. Hold on. They want me to take a little quick drink. Mm. Your ancestors are yelling. Take it back, Leo. It's yours. It's your power, baby. All these cards fell out and they want me to read them, okay? It's your power. And it's almost like God is reinventing you wherever you're going. Wherever you're going to a different city, different town. Some of you guys are returning back. And it's almost like God, the universe, reinventing you. He's reinvented you or is in the process of reinventing you. And I'm here and expect miracles. And look, you got the justice card right here. Or judgment. For some of you guys, justice. You may be dealing with the Libra. But you call judgment. And look. The universe is bringing you back. You have two cards of guidance. And even though you have this alligator here. Look, there's always, there's somebody always stalking you. On the va Leo? Where's Leo going? And they might even sense, you know, even the devil. This could be the devil just trying to get in front of you to cut you off or cut your blessings. But baby, you and your... You're in your empress energy. Man or female, terror has no gender. And you have your four pinnacles. It's like you're holding on. A lot of people don't know how you're doing it, what you're doing to create this abundance. But you're fully abundant, baby. Put it in the comments. What is mine is mine. No one can take. My blessings come from the universe. And it's almost like I'm hearing there's an important message. I'm hearing Proverbs 22 Verse 26 through 28. So some of you guys could be born on the 22nd, the 26th, or the 28th. But they have an important message. And I'm here and expect miracles. So you have the five of wands right here. And the five of wands, look at this. It's almost like things are coming to you easily and effortlessly. You see? And it's almost like there's a feather behind. So the universe and your ancestors, they're giving you clues. Their communication, it's almost like, <laughs> Leo, this is you and the universe talking to you. This could be on a full moon. This is just you looking and waiting for the universe to give you what? The signal when it comes to two of wands. This is you connected with the universe. Now, for some of you guys, you may have a cat like this, but this is you as the hierophant. Look at this, going within Knowing that you got the keys to the street, baby. That's what I heard. That's what I heard. Look at this. The whole time you've had the keys. And that's why I'm hearing undefeatable. And it's your time to shine. Because your spiritual gifts are unfolding. And for a lot of you guys, if you're worried about what anybody took from your past, it's almost like you don't even have to worry about it. God seen what they took from you. And I'm here purposely to harm you. And for a lot of you guys, it was to teach you a lesson. It was to teach you a lesson, really. And that's what you're finding out. But there's judgment here. See, they try to play God with you. And now they're being put on the spot. And that's why I heard. It's almost like I heard, you know, God is about to expose them publicly. So maybe God is about to publicly shame this particular person or people because there's one, two, three people right here. You can see the angels look right here.
bringing them to the courthouse. It's almost like spiritual court right here. And all these birds are singing. And the main one's going to be right here in the front row. And they had two accomplices. But you don't got to worry. You got the keys to the street, baby. Some of them took it too far. And see, the universe wants you to focus on your purpose. You see that horse in the back? It's almost like you have this guardian angel that's about to stomp on anybody that gets close to you. You're meant for success is what I'm hearing. Look at that pentacle right here. Look at that sun. Look at that protection you have. And you still waiting on God to give you a signal. So for a lot of you, Leos, it's almost like you put God first in everything you do. Baby, if this is you, put it in the comments because this is powerful. It's like you, you gave all your power to God and God continues to bless you. In different avenues is what I'm hearing. And for a lot of you guys, you never stop chasing after God's heart. A lot of people see you in this energy. Oh, you think you got it all. You think you're this and it's out of jealousy. But what they're not realizing is look at you. You look. It's like you ask God for permission to move and how to move. And your pinnacles are always protected. Mm -hmm. And look, you have the ace of cup. For a lot of you guys, you've been asking for what? God, universe, when is love coming towards me? And it's coming to you soon. I'm here, Jeremiah 29, 11. Isn't that 11, 11? So you have an important message, baby. And I'm hearing God's promise. <laughs> and I'm hearing you guys need to read it all the way through verse 14. I, I don't know, but somebody needs to, to read it right there. Look, you're going to be in the two of swords. You're going to know which way to run. There's going to be one, one route that you're going to need to take better than the other. And even though it may be sharp, it may be hard, you're going to take the high road. It's like the universe is sending you. And for a lot of you guys, the harder the obstacles, the greater the blessings, baby. So keep pushing forward. So, so look at this. And when it comes to love, these cards fell out. And I was meditating. And these cards came out. And they wanted me to share this with you. And for a lot of you guys, through this process, Leo, sun, moon, rising, Venus, anywhere in your chart, you have, it was almost like the enemy wanted you to take that confidence that you had. However, it might have been used as far as the devil using closest people to you. It's almost you were in this energy. People don't believe in me. And that's a damn lie. It's almost something that the universe uh, wants you to understand. It's like you're done with these betrayals. They wanted you not to believe in yourself. I wish I could be like you. And this is somebody that wanted to be like you. So they wanted to take your energy. It says, I wish I could be on, uh, fully honest with you. So this is a particular person that wants to be like you. They took from you. And it could be somebody that people don't believe in. And it has something to do with their childhood trauma. Now, Leo, there's something that you had to heal as well. And that's why you felt like people couldn't believe in you. But what you realize is you got the keys to your own life, your own destiny. And nobody could destroy you. Leo. Leo. This is something you spoke with God, the universe. And this is something you continue to, to look and for your guidance. The last one, I can't make you happy. So this is somebody in the past as well that just, there was so much jealousy. Big time. Let's see what we have for, for Leo, sun, moon, rising, Venus, anyone in your chart. For a lot of you guys, God was already calling you to your journey. And it's almost like you had a group of people that didn't like that you were, you had a calling on your life. And it's almost like people didn't believe. It's what I'm hearing. People didn't believe you had this calling in your life. You're like, huh? 
The universe is calling me. So you you might have had parents. You might have had siblings. For some of you guys, it was a spouse. And it's almost like they wanted this demonic control over you. And I'm here, Jezebel. For some of you guys, you were dealing with somebody that just wanted to have this control over you. And I'm here, Jezebel, because you had this, this blessing. You still have this blessing upon your life. But this it's almost like you're radiating wealth. You're radiating Power is blessing. Something about you is gorgeous. And they wanted to take that from you. They wanted to take your divine purpose. They wanted to hold this key. It's almost they wanted to lock you in and, and, and not let you out. And, and it's almost like they took advantage of your, your energy that you were having, that you have. And you were meant to shine, Leo. So put it in the comments, baby. I am meant to shine. No one can take my blessings and you are finding your purpose in life. And it says right here, the world doesn't owe you a thing, baby. The world doesn't owe you a thing. It says right here, acting like the world owes you something keeps you in a mental of sacredity. Here's the hard truth. The universe never borrowed anything from you. All the gifts she's giving you, you, not them, you. Anything from uh, the universe never borrowed anything from you. All the gifts she's giving you so far have been gifts. You have, it says, if you treat everything in your life like that, you'll be a, a lot happier. Unless you're a dick, then you'll just be grumpy. It's your choice, boo. And look, did we say that? Your spiritual gifts are unfolding. Leo, I don't know what to tell you, baby, but you have you have great success moving forward, baby. Don't let nobody stop you. You have in the past people that have been trying to hold you back. Let's get a manifestation card for you. And some of you guys want to know about love. Okay, hold on. Chill out. I'm here and... <laughs> Love is coming when you least expect it. Leo, let's see. It says right here. Believing in spiritual guidance gives me certainty and the freedom to keep dreaming. Even when I can't yet see the results. Look at you manifesting everything you want. The purple. This is you opening your crown chakra, your third eye. Meditate. Cleans it. I'm hearing salt baths. Fix in the shower. I don't know. For some of you guys, that's what I heard. So let's see. In love, what do we have? And this is the hidden truth. When it comes to love, Leo, sun, moon, rising, Venus, anywhere in your chart. Let's see. When it comes to love, what, what is Leo dealing with? Okay. It says right here, the first one, it says, I love you. So look at this. Somebody, I want to... I want to feel that way again. Leo, do you know you have this magnetic attraction, this love when you put it down, man or female? Oh my God, and some people are scared. If this is a past love, one that might've betrayed you, and they might've betrayed you out of insecurity. No, not the one that took shit from you. They, you I'm hearing somebody else. You might've cut them off because you started to take your journey serious. And when God told you to cut off, you did a cut off game. It's almost like you put... The key to your heart right here, you carry it right there to when the universe says, okay, now you can turn your heart back on because your heart belongs to God. Put it in the comments. My heart belongs to God. Ooh, Lord, somebody loves you. Let's see. What else do we have? It says right here, I knew exactly what I was doing. So this could have been somebody that knew exactly what they were doing when it came to betraying you or to holding their love back and see just... I keep saying justice, but judgment, you call judgment on this situation. And God, you told God, hey, what do I do with this love? And the universe might have told you, hold back. It's time for me to heal. It told you when to heal. And you stayed obedient. Mm. Some of you guys, I want you love. And for a lot of you guys, Leo. You want freedom. You want financial freedom. You want to get stable. You want stability. 
you want your power back. For a lot of you guys, you were dealing with somebody that really took your power. You might have you might have been married to this particular person, Leo, or in a long commitment. This particular person betrayed you out of insecurities of their own. Because for a lot of you guys, you could you would have gave them half. You would have still helped them. If you're a man, you would have still helped them. If you're a woman, I'm hearing you still would have helped them. Maybe you guys have kids together. You understood your journey. And you understood it clearly. You weren't going to try to hurt somebody. It says right here, I will wait for a sign from you. So for some of you guys, you have another particular person. They might be afraid to contact you. And they replay their conversations over and over. And the truth behind you pulling your energy back, because for some of you guys, you had a person that wouldn't commit. Maybe they were in another situation. Maybe they were dealing with another divorce. Maybe both of you guys had to separate. But um, it says right here, I am becoming a better person. So some of you guys, you ain't waiting for nobody. You guys are chasing after God's heart and your pentacles. And it's almost like God is sending you on your divine purpose. And look at the bottom of the deck as I shuffle. I am grateful for the spiritual what lessons. Put in the comments, baby. I am grateful. So that's what I have for you, Leo. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, anywhere in your chart. And somebody is sweating bullets. They're seeing you succeed. They seeing you. Where is it at? They seeing you in your empress energy. Baby, if this is you, emperor or empress, put in the comments. And look, they can't come towards you. You have you have angels all around you, but this guardian angel ain't going to let nobody fuck with you is what I'm hearing. Mm -mm. You're on your throne, baby. So that's what I have for you. Leo, hit the like button, share, subscribe, comment if this is you. If this is you, babe, you are freaking blessed. And it's your time to shine, baby. Let your spiritual gifts unfold, baby. Take that leap of faith. The two of swords, take that leap of faith. You're right on the edge. You're undefeatable, baby. Claim this energy. Infinite Tarot, 888.